All right, so Claude AI just announced an update to their Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. And this is like the best model on the market right now when it comes to AI, especially for the tasks that I do, which is like writing and creative work and just processing a lot of information. The other update that they announced is this new ability for the AI to look at your computer screen and like click and actually take actions on your computer. So some pretty big updates. What I want to do is look at the new model here and see how it works. I'm going to test right now something that I do on a regular basis, which is upload a bunch of content into Claude and then have it do a very detailed task. So my instructions here are pretty long. And let me go ahead and just go full screen on this so I can show you how it looks. The instructions that I have are pretty long very detailed instructions for a task that I wanted to do and about an hour of content that it is reviewing to complete that. So this is my first time trying the new model. I want to see just how it feels compared to how it normally does this in the past. And then after this, I'll take a look at that new computer screen thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, do it. The task tells it to just do the task, but sometimes it just gives me a summary of what it's going to do, which is okay. So I just tell it to go. This is a task that I do a lot in my business where I have it analyze people's um, content and then review it through my lens of knowledge and then write out an entire piece of content for me. So I want to see how it does. Let's scan through it real quick. Okay, so just skimming through it, this is looking pretty good. I don't notice a huge improvement in the quality. It seems to be maybe this would be like a higher end output compared to the older 3.5 Sonnet model. So not mind-blowingly different, but I do see that it's very smart and it's doing a good job. So I'm going to try it again with another one. All right, we're going to go ahead and try another one here. Same task, but different content that it's reviewing. So this is one that I've tried in the past and it was kind of tricky. So I want to see how it handles this one. All right, so first thoughts on this one. It's similar to what I would get in the past. It didn't quite hit the, the nail on the head the way I would want. And I would have to do some revisions on that, but it was pretty good. I don't notice anything too crazy here from the way it writes to how fast it is to how smart it seems to be. Doesn't seem like a huge leap in capabilities, but looking at the benchmarks on this model, they're saying here that it is technically smarter and better at reasoning than any other model by a pretty significant amount. When I see here the new Sonnet 3.5 compared to like some of these really advanced models like 4.0 Mini or 4.0 and even Gemini 1.5. It seems to be pretty good. Like, I mean, this is what they're saying. The numbers in green here mean it's number one. So this is pretty common. What we see across the board in general is Claude 3.5 Sonnet is like the leading model. This is supposedly the new model, which again, doesn't feel too different to me. But what's interesting is this version of the model that can see your screen and complete tasks. It's pretty crazy. And if we look here at the examples that they gave, Basically, the AI will be able to view your screen and then complete tasks as it kind of follows along, and it will actually move the mouse and do things and tell you what it's doing over here on the left. So this is a leap into the next generation of AI that will actually complete tasks for you by taking control of your browser and going through and clicking things. And the way I'm kind of seeing this is this is version one. In the near future, we may have models that are much, much better at doing this. I'll try this one, but for now, it feels like it's more for programmers and coders, but it's doing interesting things. I can see in the near future, like buying additional laptops or computers to put in your office and actually have your AI sitting there 24 seven doing tasks for you. So that's something I see happening in the near future. This is the first step towards that. I know that open AI has been teasing some of these things as well. So just keep an eye out for this. It is definitely coming and that's going to be the next generation of AI uh, to complete tasks for you. So one final thing I thought was kind of interesting here is if we look at <laughs> some of these results, this is pretty funny here. Um, 
while they were recording demonstrations of computer use for the launch, they encountered some amusing errors. Claude accidentally clicked to stop a long running screen recording, causing all footage to be lost. And in another demo, Claude suddenly took a break from our coding demo and began to pursue or peruse photos of Yellowstone National Park. So that's where they are right now <laughs> with this version. It is not perfect. It sounds very human and relatable, which is hilarious, but that's where we're at right now. So I don't see too much changing for me. I'm going to keep testing this new Claude model, but it seems to be about the same level of intelligence, maybe slightly smarter. Maybe it will reduce some errors or understand long prompts and instructions better. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on it, but first impressions, nothing too crazy, but revealing some of this footage of what the next level of AI can do for us is pretty exciting. So that's something that we should all keep a close eye on and start to test out a little bit in your own business as it becomes more available. All right, that's it for this update. As of right now, Claude is still my favorite AI model, favorite tool. This new version seems similar. It does seem slightly smarter than ChatGPT's current models, which is 4.0, even the 4.0 previews and different experimental ones they have aren't quite on the level that I want it to be. And Claude seems to be leading the way right now, but that could change any day.